So you guys were recently honored uh, by the city of Atlanta, you know, fast shot to the mayor, Andre Dickens. Um, talk a little bit about this because this is a big deal. And it wasn't just Atlanta. It was it was another city as well. Yeah. Talk a little bit yeah, about, right. you know, you know, you know what it felt like to be honored. Right. Somebody who has a record, somebody who's been through a lot of trials, tribulations, 10 felonies. But now you got the, the mayor, you know, of Atlanta and another city really kind of honoring you guys and, and the work that you're doing. Talk about this a little bit. Yeah, we we uh, we had our third annual box truck cargo van meetup. So yeah. we do we do that once a uh, once a year where we celebrate our coaching clients. Yep. And uh, we pass out checks of how much money they've made since they've been in our program. And uh, uh, the mayor of Atlanta, Mayor Dickens, uh, Dickinson uh, recognized us for all the good work and all the lives that we've changed, all the entrepreneurs that we produce. Wow. And we live in the city of Fairburn, so the city of Fairburn mayor also recognized us. So it, it was a great honor, man. It was something that uh, probably the most gratifying feeling that you can uh, ever feel knowing where I come from, sure. my type of background, yeah. how I just changed my life. That's why I tell people all the time, Man, if a 55-year-old man still got the hustle in him, mm. baby, what's your excuse? Facts, yeah. But, you know, and you just start doing things the right way. Yeah. yeah. Life can change. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. I know you want to watch this next video, but listen, if you are an entrepreneur, business coach, business consultant, or a small business owner who has a story and wants to learn how to create multiple streams of income from your story, I need you to text me right now. My book to 646 Six eight seven four one five two. That is my personal number. I have been an author for over twelve years. I've written ten books. Four of them have been bestsellers, and I've sold over a hundred thousand books. But I've also helped a lot of my clients take their expertise and put it into a story, then create multiple streams of income from that. So I want to help you do the same thing. So text my book to six four six six eight seven four one five two. All right, let's go back to the video. So welcome to another awesome episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash, the greatest money mindset show on the planet. Today we have a very important show for you. Listen, according to the American Trucking Association, U.S. freight transportation forecast for 2022, the U.S. is likely to see a 24% increase in freight tonnage in 2022. As a result, revenue is predicted to increase by 67%, and most of those gains will occur within the trucking industry. This is good news for my next guest, Coach Sheldon and Tammy Moore, AKA the Truckpreneurs. They are on a mission to break the cycle of poverty and make millionaires using box trucks. If you're a single mom, formerly incarcerated or knucklehead, this episode is for you. We're gonna come to you with all of the sauce or everything you need to know how to take your life to the next level, become a multi-millionaire regardless of your circumstance, regardless of where you started. We got the truck renewers in the building. <laughs> My brother, Miss Tammy. Yeah. Um, such a pleasure to have you. I'll take these shades off. I just, you know, y'all was in all black. I just wanted to be all black. <laughs> um, you know, I want to start uh, because you, you guys have an interesting story. Um, you've done some amazing things. Um, but, but for those who don't know, who is Sheldon and Tammy Moore? Well, they call me uh, the box truck coach on social media. Uh, we specialize in helping people start a transportation company with the emphasis of no CDL required. Mm. So a lot of people think the only way that you can make money in the transportation business is with an 18-wheeler. Mm. Now, don't get it twisted. The 18-wheeler is number one in the game, and the business caters to the 18-wheeler. But you can make just as much money in a non-CDL box truck, the same box truck that you can walk in Penske, show your license, they don't know you, and they will allow you to jump in that truck with a regular driver's license to move your furniture. That's the same truck you can buy and make $150,000 to $200,000 a year off of one truck with just a driver's license. Wow, you're talking spicy, spicy. <laughs> Wait, hold on. And so you're saying that while people are spending you know, years of training, 
trying to figure out how to get their CDL, trying to you know figure out how to get finances to get an 18 wheeler that you could make a, a six figure income by walking with a box truck. Not only a box truck, you could do it in a Sprinter van or a cargo van. Wow. No CDL required on these uh, uh, these vehicles. One thing that a lot of people don't understand, freight got to be moved. Mm. So when you can't afford an 18 wheeler, then you might be able to afford a box truck. Mm. If you can't afford a box truck, then you can afford a Sprinter van. Mm. If you can't afford a Sprinter van, then you step down to a cargo van. Mm. I first got started, I got a class A CDL, mm. used to work for 7up. 7up mm. was working me to death at 1200 a week yeah. for 65 hours. Mm. I left they butt, went to USA Concrete, <laughs> was wor working for USA Concrete yeah. uh, for $1,600 a week for 70 hours, Monday through Saturday, bought me a $1,500 van, leaking oil, smoking in the back, and I made me $1,000 a week at 32 hours. Wow. Seven months later, I bought my first box truck. I made 10 grand my first month. Wow, wow, that's powerful. So, man, we, we got, to, oh man, he, he, he giving us the smoke, right? But so, um, you guys like focus on, you know, single moms, for, formerly incarcerated, knuckleheads. Um, why that population specifically? Well, I will say, you know, being a single mom before, I understand how it is, how important it is to supplement my income, right? Yeah. So for single mothers who wants to make upward about, you know, five to $6,000 a month to support their children, this is the business for you. Yeah. And the good thing about it is you don't have to drive. You can hire a driver mm -hmm. to have that kind of income coming in. Then also being a mom, I have some knuckleheaded kids <laughs> <laughs> who the world can't handle, right. but they'll listen to me. Yeah. Put them into a box truck, put them into a cargo van, birth that entrepreneur spirit out of them, and you never know, they'll become, you know, multi-successful, wow. you know, wow. just by doing that. And then also think about somebody who has been incarcerated. Yeah. You know, that is a real passionate area for us because Sheldon has a story to share, mm. right? So when you're incarcerated and you get out, it's like a new world for you. Mm. You're interviewing and interviewing over and over and over, only to be told, no, wow. you got background issues. No, we can't hire you. Wow. Well, that same individual can buy them a cargo van or box truck, start making money because brokers and dispatchers don't care about your background. Wow, yeah. You can still make that type of money. Wow. So since COVID, through the grace of God, we've turned over 600 people into entrepreneurs. Wow. So yeah, that, that is truly our sector, those single moms, wow. uh, background issues, as well as those knuckle-headed children. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, talk, talk to us about, about your story, right? Because I know you, uh, you know, were formerly incarcerated. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so, you know, uh, I, I tell people all the time that if I can do it, if God can bless me, he can bless you and you can do it. Yeah. I got 10 felonies. Mm. I got 10. Wow. I used to be in the street hustling. Wow. Uh, and I've been incarcerated twice. Mm -hmm. Last time I was incarcerated, I went to prison at the age of 46. Wow. I did eight and a half years. I got out at 55. Mm -hmm. I'm now 61 years old, yeah. but I made a couple of million dollars last year in 2021. Wow. So if I, if, if God can bless me, yeah. if I can do it, yeah. why can't you do it? Wow. 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 And I, and I, I, you know, that's a powerful story because I know a lot of, uh, people who watch the show, uh, who I interact with, you know, have been behind the wall and have these stories and, um, you know, have situations in which um, they can't find a way, right? Talk a little bit about um, your mindset, like coming home, how did you like shift your mindset in order to, you know, get to the space where you're making, you know, multi-millions of dollars? Well, the first thing you got to understand when you're incarcerated, people have a choice. They can go left or they can go right. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, if you go left, normally you're trying to perfect wrongdoing while you're incarcerated. Mm, yeah. But if you go right, which I took the, the right choice, yeah. I learned trucking in prison. Mm, yeah. So when I came out, I already knew what direction I wanted to go in. Yeah. So I went straight at trucking, yeah. studied for my CDL, passed the written test, passed the uh, driving test, and got my class A CDL. Mm. So it's a, it's a, it's everything that we do to obtain success mm. is a mind shift. Yeah. And once you shift that mind, you can accomplish anything that you want to. Yeah, yeah, no, I love that. You, you, uh, while you were incarcerated, there were the three prayers that you prayed while in prison. Talk to us about Ooh, that. Oh boy. <laughs> that you did some research. Yeah, you did some research. So to, to this day, 
I pray Psalms 32, 8, which is, well, first of all, me and my wife got our minister license. Mm. So we got a, a, a Monday show called Monday Morning Manor uh, every Monday at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern time on Instagram. And we, you know, I do a little sermonette. So my, 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 my prayers in prison mm -hmm. and my prayers today, one is Psalms 32, 8, mm -hmm. that God will instruct me and teach me the way that I should go mm. and guide me with his eye. Mm. And at the end, I said, Lord, guide me to my wife. Mm. Guide me in the trucking business. Mm. Guide me in the ministry. Mm. Then it's uh, Psalms 34:10. Though the young lion lack and suffer hunger, mm. those that seek me, the Lord, mm. will lack or want for no good thing. Mm. And then of course, uh, Isaiah 41:10. Fear not and be not troubled, Sheldon, yeah. for I am your God. Mm. I will strengthen you, I will help you, mm. and I will uphold you mm. with my righteous right hand. Mm. No matter what it looked like in the world, no yeah. matter what circumstances you're going through, yeah. he said a promise mm. that I'll uphold you with my righteous right hand. Mm. I've been praying them the last six years in prison, and I've been praying them since I've been home. Wow, wow, wow. And that, and no. Those are man, I like I felt those. Those are powerful. And you know, I, I think I think it's important. And you know, I wanted to kind of talk about that because regardless of what someone's faith is, that that belief in God, right, um, is what is gonna help you get through whatever circumstance you, you're in. Um, Tammy, talk to us a little bit of, about that. Like, how has your belief in God and uh, you know, just leaning on God has helped you in business. Um, helped you as a single mom, like helped you just navigate this this life as it as it goes through its ups ups and downs. So, I mean, my background is just Christianity. I grew up in the church, very yeah. very um, active in the church. But as an adult, life shows up. Yeah. You know, weapons are gonna form, but the Bible says that they will not prosper. Yeah. One of my favorite scriptures is Proverbs three five and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. Lean not into your own your understanding. Own understanding. Yep. And my thing is that, Tammy, you're not going to understand it all. Mm, yeah. He's saying you trust in me. Yeah. He said, and then acknowledge me in every single thing you do. Mm. So even though you got to go through some things, he's saying trust in me. And then when you trust in him, acknowledge him yeah. for what he's going to do. He said, I will direct your path. Mm. One of my favorite translations is, I'll make your crooked path straight. Mm. So no matter what you may go through in life, because we're going to go through something, I just lean and chew on those scriptures. Yeah. It's been edifying for me. They've shown up real in my life. Yeah. And, um, and I know that giving God all the glory and praise, uh, no matter what, he's going to show up at his appointed time. What I tell our coaching clients, even my family, our problem, problem is that we try to rush God. Mm. He's not on our time zone. Mm. He's not on Central. Mm. He's not on Pacific. He's on God's time zone, GTS. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So I'm saying, God, in your appointed time, I know you're going to show up. I just got to trust in you yeah. and stay focused. Yeah. And I think that's what has helped me, help my marriage, help friendships, relationships that, you know, I'm going to trust in him and all that I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I love that. And that, and that level of trusting um, it has, you know, you guys are blessed in abundance. Um, but 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 that blessing um, isn't just for you, right? You you guys just don't hold that blessing. Uh, you're able to help so many people with those. Can you talk about the you know the millionaires and the people that you've helped? You know through you know your your teaching and uh, you know blessing other people through through what you've been blessed with. Well, one of the things that was confirmed by our coaching clients and our staff is that uh, our box truck cargo van program is more than a transportation uh, uh, platform. Mm. It's a ministry. Mm. So we got a lot of coaching clients uh, that we pray over. Mm. We, got a, uh, we had a, a, a coaching client that had an issue with, with his daughter. He called us. We went and met her and prayed over her and talked to her. Mm. So it's, it's a lot of stuff that we do outside of transportation mm. to, to change people's lives and let them know that if you just implement him in your life, things can change for the better, you know? So yeah, we, we uh, man, I would say probably one of the most gratifying things for me is knowing that a grown man will call you mm -hmm. with his voice cracking, mm -hmm. trying to hold back the tears, mm -hmm. telling you thank you mm -hmm. for, for changing uh, my poverty curse. Mm -hmm. Thank you wow. for changing the generational wealth that we are obtaining in our family. So it's bigger than just transportation with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you know, through your program, 
You guys have a 90% success rate. Talk about that. Yeah. Probably 95%. Look, look, put some success respect on them, on them numbers. Yeah, because yeah. we, um, um, in 2021, well, first of all, like my wife said, we had over 600 people. We didn't turn over 600 people into entrepreneurs. Wow. In 2021, we had, we produced two millionaires in their first year. Wow. Uh, Diana and Durius, D3J, mm. right out of Atlanta. Yeah. And then uh, Hassan Washington out of Chicago. Yep. And then we're going to produce two millionaires this year, one out of Dallas, Texas, and one out of North Carolina. Yeah. And all of our people are having success. They're either making three, four, five, six, seven thousand um, dollars uh, a week in a box truck, wow. or they're making two, three, four thousand dollars in a cargo van or a sprinter van, depending on if they want to do local or over the road. Wow. And we teach all of that. Wow. And wow. here's the thing when we built the program, Ash. Um, it was interesting. We started around our kitchen table, mm. just helping people. I was like, you know, Sheldon, you've been helping a lot of people that was coming out of the prison system. Yes. He was like coaching them for free. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I think we may have something. That's how I started um, doing seminar. a seminar. And so we did a seminar right around our kitchen table. Mm. Um, and then I was like talking to one of my coaches, Taria, and I, she was like, you need to get in front of mm -hmm. uh, your audience. Mm -hmm. And so she showed me and talked to me on how I could get in front of the audience. We didn't do this to become wealthy. I mean, I'm grateful, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> grateful, grateful for the, for the, I'm grateful for the yeah. For the, I'm grateful. However, it, that wasn't the purpose. The purpose yeah. was to really help people understand that you could literally get into this game without having to have a CDL and still make money. Yeah. And one thing about it, when I saw Sheldon I struggle, initially when he started the business, he had to file bankruptcy, he bounced back in, mm. had to, you know, make all these tough decisions. Yeah. But to see the drive and like, you could actually file bankruptcy, lose everything, mm. go get a cargo van, mm. start making money in a cargo van, work your way back up and then get a box truck and have a whole new fleet in less than a year. Wow, 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 yeah, <laughs> In yeah. less than a year. Yeah. And I was like, this is truly like a game changing industry. Yeah, yeah. It really is. Yeah, and, I, and I, again, I love it because, it, you know, we know, uh, what the war on drugs did to did to our community. Mm -hmm. uh, we know how the unfair, you know, drug sentencing, you know, as it relates to, you know, crack and powder cocaine. We know about mass incarceration and uh, the role that the current president played in that, whether, you know, it, 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 it acknowledged or not. Um, and what happens is when a lot of our brothers and sisters are coming home, you know, to your point, they don't, you know, they don't have opportunities. They're not being given or, or guided, uh, you know, with ways that they could, uh, you know, build wealth, right? Mm -hmm. Now you get somebody who, you know, comes home, um, they're trying to uh, do the right thing, they're, they're applying for jobs, they're being turned down, um, they're forced into going into the back, the, 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 the wrong and back into the wrong environment. And now they start, you know, doing, uh, what they what got them in there before, and that's how we had this high level of recidivism. Sheldon, talk up. You know, I know upon your release, you made a decision that to to like make sure that you weren't going to go back. Like you almost voluntarily stayed in the halfway house just so that you don't go. Talk talk, talk to us about that a little bit. Wow. So you know, when I got out, um, all of my clothes had dry rotted. I didn't have no vehicle and I didn't, I didn't have a place to stay. So I stayed in the halfway house off of Fulton Industrial the whole six months. And uh, uh, they helped me find a subsidized apartment right off of Bankhead. Mm -hmm. And my rent was based on uh, uh, my job. And my first job was driving a shuttle bus at the airport, mm -hmm. taking people to the airport, getting their luggage and all of that stuff. And um, I, just, I just had a drive just to succeed and it was many days that the streets was calling me back mm. because when i told you the story about the 1500 dollars cargo van that i bought and then i graduated to the box truck yeah. well i i bought the wrong box truck i bought a box truck that's known for having a lot of problems mm. and i had to file bankruptcy mm. So when I filed bankruptcy, that's when the street was like, you know, you can come get this money. <laughs> right, right, you know, right. you can come get what you need to fix that truck. Right. And I said, I can't do it. Yeah. And I went back and started right before I filed bankruptcy. I went and bought me a 2017 Ford Transit van yeah. and ran that uh, for uh, a year. And now me and my wife, now we can kind of downsize. Now we got three box trucks. We got one semi. We got two reefer trailers. All of them paid for mm. 
Nice. So we got titles to everything. Yeah. So yeah, man, you just got to stay uh, focused. Yeah. And don't get tricked by Satan because yeah, yeah, he's gonna yeah. try to trick you. Yeah. And and, and let, let's let's talk, let's talk about environment for a second, right? Because you know I you know I noticed that um, again, like making sure like the streets calling you back. You're like, all right, I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay out of this environment. Um, even as an entrepreneur, like even if you choose to go right and do the right things, uh, as an entrepreneur, um, there's there's other environments. It may not be illegal environments. It may be you know lack environments. It may be environments where you know people are telling you you can't do something. You know, and um, you know how important as an entrepreneur is it is it to find mentors? I mean, you Tammy, you mentioned you know having a coach like coaches and masterminds like how important is that as an entrepreneur like super important because number one when you have a good mentor you alleviate so many headaches yeah but more importantly than that when you start to tap into your purpose and god's plan for your life the negative folks that are in your circle those that may not uh necessarily support what you're trying to do family members mom dad friends they will hold you back mentally mm -hmm. you literally have to get into a place where I believe in a coach, but also shifting that whole mindset perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, one of my challenges is being a people pleaser mm -hmm. all my life. Mm -hmm. Every single thing I did in life, I had to get validation. Yeah. Or I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing. Or I cared about how people thought. Yeah. When I started getting coaching, um, and I, I, I noticed how coaches real, like, Coaches have had coaching themselves. Yeah, I would yeah, say, yeah. Whatever saying, coaches that's done the work. Right, 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 right. Who are healthy and whole and can help you. Yeah. Those are the people I gravitated to. Yeah. And I started to learn that I really don't care how pe a person feel. I don't care who agree with what we're doing or not. Yeah. It was my calling. God didn't call you exactly, to it. Yeah. He called us to it. Yeah. So to get around those powerful coaches like yourself, Ash, mm -hmm. and some of the environments that we're in, mm -hmm. to hear other powerful coaches talk about how they push through yeah. ass assumptions, how they push through the negative mindset, yeah. you know, that helped me to really get myself together as a person because I brought all that to my coaching program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. it wasn't until I started working on myself that I realized that before I could show up and coach somebody, I need help. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So I, I worked on myself and then, you know, was able to help other people get to that level. Yeah. And just so, to, to piggyback on what she said when you was mentioning the different environments other than the streets calling you back, I just uh, was in uh, Rockdale County Jail talking to the inmates, letting them know that stumbling blocks will appear absolutely trials will appear yeah tribulations will appear yeah. and they are designed to make you quit 100%. they designed to make you stop yeah. and that's when you got to push through and understand it's okay to fall or fail yeah. some people uh, uh like to say fail but i like to say that you fall mm. and you can get back up yeah. and once you learn from your mistakes the sky's the limit. Yeah, no, I yeah, love that. One of that. my sayings is fall forward. Mm. Like, for example, my daughter, when she was younger, she was walking up the stairs. And as she was walking up the stairs, she fell up mm. the stairs. Mm. And I was like, oh, my goodness, did you hurt yourself? How you fall up the stairs? Right. And she was like, mom, at least I fell up. Mm, yeah. I didn't fall down. So I use it as kind of like a th some therapy for myself that yeah. it don't matter how you fall. Just fall forward. Right. Absolutely. Failure is not final. Right. Exactly. You know, so right. just right. having Fa that Failure is not failure until you give up. Until you right. give until up. You stop. Yeah. It becomes permanent. Um, and and it, it's funny because one of, one, of, one of my coaches, our coaches, uh, says if your coach doesn't have a coach, they don't deserve to be a coach, right? <laughs> and you know, right. you know, I've seen that a lot where uh, people are, you know, attempting to coach people, or attempting to help people, but then no one's filling their cup up, no one's giving them new information. Right. So they're actually coaching, you know, their group with stale information, and you know, instead of getting like fresh information and working on themselves and kind of helping, you know, you know, get to you know, get to that next level, what how important is it to uh, pay though for information, right? To, to to like, instead of trying to figure things out, you know, pay somebody who's already, you know, done the work or have done the, or have the success that you want uh, to kind of get to that next level. Man, and that's- I, mean, a, I was gonna let you take that. Yeah, that that's I know a, you won't too. <laughs> yeah, that's an excellent question because we started around our kitchen table in March of 2018 and, and our seminar was $25. Mm -hmm. Our coaching program was $200. Mm. And uh, we blew up when COVID hit. Mm. But before we blew up, by me having some age on me, yeah. 
we didn't know anything about social media. Yeah. So we had to hire a coach. Mm. And at that, right before we hired that coach, we was only making like $4,000 a month. Mm. That first month of hiring a coach, we went to 22, five, wow. then to 30, wow. then to 35, wow. then to 40. Then, you know, we averaged like 125 to $200,000 nice. a year. Yeah, yeah. So that was the important of a coach. Yeah. And, and we've been with that coach for three years yeah. now. And we also got another coach. So we got two coaches. Nice. Yeah. So while somebody's out there contemplating about spending money, or what I like to say, investing in yourself. Yeah. Stop thinking that you're spending money, yeah. but you're investing in yourself yeah. and let these coaches teach you things that you have no clue about. Yeah. yeah. And then sometimes even in the coaching programs, you're around other successful people. Right. You yeah. know, like, and then you start networking. Yeah. And before you know it, you're networking and growing, yeah. you know, and, and, and you get in environments that you would never have gotten into trying to YouTube everything. Right. You know, trying to say, I'm going to Google this. Yeah. You know, like somebody in that room can already have gone through that, drop the gems on you, give you a full play. Thanks. You take that out and start executing. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it's really important to have a coach. I, I'm super grateful um, for the coaches in my life. I got to shout out my coach, Taria Vision of yeah, yeah, Got to yeah, shout yeah, her out yeah, real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, it would have never, before we hired any coach, yeah. she was the first person that believed in us yeah. and gave us, you know, some guidance on what we need to do. So I'm super grateful. That's yeah, the only nah, coach you're going to shout out? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's two more coaches. Yeah, yeah. Can I do it? No, go ahead. Markwell Russell. That shout out to Markwell. Markwell yep. and Myron. Myron Gold. That shout out to Myron. Yes. Well, all, all alumni. Yes. You know, yes. Alumni, oh, alumni right. of Inside the Vault. So right. yeah. salute, salute. And you know, one of the things though um, that you said that I love a lot, um, and that's why I continue to uh, invest in masterminds myself, um, is the environment, right? And so you know, Myron is also, you know, my coach and I, you know, I've been able to, you know, I paid to, to be in there and I've learned a lot. Um, you know, the investment I've made, you know, in his coaching program has, I can't even, I, I, I we can't, can't even, either. yeah, I can't even, put we can't much, either. you know, how, you know, how much uh, return I've gotten from that. But, um, and if y'all ain't see that episode with Myron Golden, make sure y'all check out inside the vault with, with Ash Cash. Um, but, but not only did, did, did that help, but, you know, my, some of my business partners I've met inside mm. of that of that coaching program and, you know, being able to get quality guests, you know, on the show and not have to, you know, see, hey, are, are they are they really, do, you know, are they really doing what they really say they do? Right. So like the environment um, that a coach actually creates is really, really important as well because a lot of people feel like they're paying only for the coach, but you're also paying for that environment. Um, talk to us about, um, you know, the environment that you create for your students, right? Because, you know, you know, a legend has it that, you know, you guys will, you know, refunded some clients money was like, you know what, I like, I don't even like, like, like all money ain't good money. I don't even want you in my program. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Bro. Ooh, this man that did his research, bro. <laughs> you boy, your wife, boy, your wife ain't no joke. Yeah, ain't bro. no joke. But so, yeah, so we, uh, and that, that's uh, one of the things that we learned from our coach that, you know, everybody's not a good fit for your program. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And one of the things that we instill in our coaching clients when they first join is do not rush the process. Yeah. And do not rush me. Mm. So normally, the couple of people that we gave the money back, they had the same MO. Yeah. They were trying to rush me, yeah. and they were trying to rush the process. Yeah. So whenever we detect that, we don't have a problem like, huh, mm. go ahead and take your money back, yeah. man, because you're not a good fit for us. Yeah. So now we let people know, yeah. even on our challenges, yeah. we accepting certain amount of people. Yeah. And just because you want to join yeah. don't mean that we're going to allow you to join because we want a certain type of client that's going to honor the system yeah. that we got set up. Yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then I'll just, oh, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I was just going to piggyback on, you know, the way in which we structured our program. It was important to me coming out of corporate America and understanding a corporate environment that I wanted our front end processors, the middle processors and the back end to be sealed, like yeah. really tight, like to run like a well oiled machine. So I prayed to God for the right, like send us the right people to help build this machine. Yeah. And I will say that we are so grateful. We have 
you know, some very corporate people mm -hmm. on our team who's mm -hmm. already leaders. They're already very analytical. They're already um, driven. Yeah. So to have those amazing people on our team to help run the front end, it only makes our client experience better. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's not like you call our number, you're going to get bounced around to multiple phone lines. You're going to get a live person mm -hmm. or a live person will call you back. Yeah. So that was important that we have that uh, accessibility to mm -hmm. our clients. And the only way to do it is to have a really solid team. So shout out to the Trunkopreneur team. And mm -hmm. we and we and we have four coaching calls a week, yeah. Monday through Thursday. Wow. And we yeah. do that to try to eliminate the phone calls or try to keep them at a minimum. Yeah. So we have coaching calls Monday through Thursday. So not only am I the box truck coach, but I, I got another box truck coach and the young lady that made a million a million dollars in the first year, she's my cargo van coach. Mm. So we got multiple coaches nice. to to help uh, 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 trying to find find the right word to to take solidify. care of our okay. solidify, solidify, solidify their success. success. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I love that, and and I and I think that you know it's important that you know people are um, you know they get to try out right like what they you know what they're about to get into. So like. You know, as a coach, uh, you know what type of clientele you have. And the person who is trying to hire you as a coach knows who you are. So talk a little bit about, like you mentioned, you know, your challenge, right? You guys have a four-day experience where uh, you allow uh, people to learn from you in four days. And as they're learning from you, you also get to kind of see, um, you know, who that person is and give you know, them an opportunity to work with you. Um, talk a little bit about that four day experience. Yeah, the, we, we got a, uh, we got a four day challenge, uh, coming up. Uh, we got, well, we try to do them probably once a month yeah. or, or two months in a row and skip a month, mm -hmm. but we have a four day challenge is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, an hour a day. We're going to break down the cargo van, how you make money with a cargo van. We're going to break down how you make money with a, 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 a sprinter van. And we're going to break down how you make money with a box truck locally and what I call over the road, but home every day. Mm -hmm. And then over the road, three, four days at a time, we're going to take you on the load boards and show you that there's actual loads for the box truck. There's actual loads for the Sprinter van and the cargo van. We're going to talk about insurance, the insurance that you need. Mm -hmm. We're going to give them the whole, we ain't going to hold back nothing. Wow. We're going to give them everything that they need. When they walk away, they're going to be filled up and mm -hmm. they're going to have a foundation. Wow. 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 Yeah. I love that because again, I feel like being, you know, having the opportunity in four days to really just learn the whole game, right? Like really learn um, how, you know, you could literally, regardless of your, you know, your education, regardless of your criminal background, regardless of, you know, where you are, like you could, look, I know, I know people who went to the Ivy League who are still trying to figure out how to make six figures a year. So even, look, don't, don't, even if you got a, a, a you know, a degree from Harvard, if you're not making six, at least six figures a year, you need to get in this game. Absolutely. Yeah. Because not only do we, we don't really talk about it, but we can show you how to make money in your car. Oh. So we're we going to show you how you can take your car and, and do pharmaceutical deliveries. Oh. So we, we, we take it, we just hold that in. Ooh. That's like our nugget that we- Ooh, that's another, that's another, that's another, yeah. that's another yeah. piece of the game. <laughs> yeah. So you guys were recently honored uh, by the city of Atlanta, you know, fast shot for the mayor, Andre Dickens. Um, talk a little bit about this because this is a big deal. And it wasn't just Atlanta, it was, it was another city as well. Yeah. Talk a little bit yeah, about, right. you, know, you, know, you know, what it felt like to be honored, right? Somebody who has a record, somebody who's been through a lot of trials, tribulations, 10 felonies, but now you got the, the mayor, you know, of Atlanta and another city really kind of honoring you guys and, and the work that you're doing. Talk about this a little bit. Yeah, we we uh, we had our third annual box truck cargo van meetup. So yeah. we do we do that once a uh, once a year where we celebrate our coaching clients. Yep. And uh, we pass out checks of how much money they've made since they've been in our program. And uh, uh, the mayor of Atlanta, Mayor Dickens, uh, Dickinson uh, recognized us for all the good work and all the lives that we've changed, all the entrepreneurs that we produce. Wow. And we live in the city of Fairburn, so the city of Fairburn mayor also recognized us. So it, it was a great honor, man. It was something that uh, probably the most gratifying feeling that you can uh, ever feel knowing where I come from, sure. my type of background, yeah. how I just changed my life. That's why I tell people all the time, 
man, if a 55 year old man still got the hustle in him, mm. baby, what's your excuse? Facts, yeah. but, you know, and you just start doing things the right way. Yeah. yeah. Life can change. And, and, I, and I think for, for me, like, that's just most important because like you said, you know, 55 years old, 10 felonies, you know, like multimillionaire, never too late. Never too late. Never too late. But then also, you now, for all my young guys out there and, and gals, like you have a blueprint. So you don't even got to go through that because you now you know that the streets are a dead end. You don't have to play in the streets. And if you need an option, right, if you're a single mom, if you are a knucklehead and trying to figure it out, here is a blueprint that doesn't take a lot of money, right? Mm -hmm. And can you talk a little bit about that? Like what type of investment does it take to kind of get in the game? Well, if you start off with a cargo van, it can take you anywhere from three to 5,000 to get started mm. because a cargo van is just like buying a car. Yeah. So if you got excellent credit, you can go out there and buy your cargo van with no money down, 500 down, $1,500 down. Wow. The box truck is going to take you between 15 to 18,000. Uh, hopefully you got a 650 credit score or higher. Mm -hmm. Now, if your credit score is weaker, yeah. then it might take you about 20 to 25 mm -hmm. because you still can get into business. They're just going to hit you with a higher down payment, mm -hmm. a 40% down payment on that commercial vehicle yeah. because standard, the banks are normally will finance a commercial vehicle. They want 25% down, mm -hmm. no matter if you got a 700 credit score or a 800 credit score, they want 25% down. Mm -hmm. But it, but there are lenders that will do no money down or 10% down. We have lenders affiliated with our program. Mm -hmm. uh, we got credit uh, repair people affiliated with our program. Wow, wow. So we, we, got, we got the whole shebang for you. Wow. We got the whole shebang. We're gonna set you up with a dispatcher to make sure that truck uh, keep going. My name rings with the brokers. I'm signed up with probably about 60 brokers. So all the brokers, know who I am. They know some of my people are coming to them with a brand new company, a brand new authority. They gonna get them loads and all of that stuff. We teach you how to be it. Mm. We teach you how to build relationships. Mm. We teach you how to go on the load board. Mm. We teach you everything you need to know. Wow. And none of my coaching clients buy a vehicle without my approval. Mm. So they have to fill out a jot form, make, model, miles, price, mm. two pictures. Mm. If I see that somebody's trying to overcharge them, wow. I'll deny that vehicle. Mm. If I see that the miles is too high, I'll deny that vehicle. Mm. That's why I say that you have to follow my system and yeah. don't rush the process mm. because just because you spent your money with me, I'm not gonna allow you to go over there and get your head knocked off right. somebody trying to overcharge you for a vehicle. Right. So we take pride in that, we take wow. pride in that. And wow. in fact, if you live in Georgia, mm -hmm. I'll go, I'll go, look, go at look, look at, look at the, the vehicle for you. For you. Wow. I'll wow. go look at the vehicle for you. Wow. Uh, send a mechanic out there to get it inspected. Wow. Make sure that you ain't buying a, a problem child because, wow. and I like to tell people this. I took the staircase to the top. Mm. I'm gonna show you how to take the elevator. Mm. Yeah. Cause I made all the mistakes. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the stress level down. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna keep the mistakes to a very very minimum if yeah. you follow my lead. Yeah. And I'm gonna help you get to the elevator, man. Wow. And I I love that. Like I look, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to just sign up for the program, <laughs> right? No, let's put up at the, your um stuff on the side of our wrap wrap one of your wrap one of our vehicles Ooh. with your information oh, on. That's, yeah, we got to talk about that. That's, that's, that's another student yeah, vehicle. We got to talk about that, that. <laughs> right? Because yeah. you know when I think about. You know, again, the, the you know your target market, who you're speaking to, but again, everybody uh, could benefit from this. With um, you know, you know, even if you have bad credit, if you got low credit, you know, no funding, right? Like you, like you guys literally uh, provide all everything that that that, that someone would actually need um, in order to get started, in order to be successful, um, and then also having that guidance from you. Um, so y'all got to make sure. Look, InsideBoxTrucks.com four day experience that they're going to take you through uh spend for it look this if, if this time that you've been spending with them right now has not inspired you has not blessed your life i'm not sure you're probably on instagram while you're watching this right if you're mm -hmm. like you got to be doing something else if you're not inspired 
by their story, by their energy, because I mean, I, like, I feel your energy. I feel the passion and I appreciate everything that you're doing. Um, you deserve the success. I, you know, I continue to pray for more success. Um, and, and, and I know that everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it kind of works to, for your greater good, right? Because, you know, had you not went through what you went through, had you not gone through what you gone through, there's no way you would be a credible messenger, right? There's Absolutely. no way that you would, you'd be in the jail cells talking to people and giving them inspiration and, and really giving them an example and having them say, you know what? Like, like I remember when I was coming up, People would have, you know, would, would, would tell me the things that I could do to get out of trouble and things of that nature. But they didn't look like me, even if they were black. Like, I'm from Harlem. That, like, like if, if you look like you from Parsippany, New Jersey, dis no disrespect to anybody in Parsi Parsippany, but, like, you don't know what I'm going through. But for somebody who come from that walk of life, for you to understand what you've gone through um, and to be able to say, look, this is what I've gone through. I'm, you know, I'm helping you out. I'm giving you all the keys. Like, y'all got to tap in spend the four days, really get inspired, learn everything that they're going to teach you. Um, and then get, you know, get your life going. Right. Um, what, you know, what, what advice though, right. Uh, are you giving to that person? Because even though you you've done it, even though you've inspired people, even though you're a, a, a walking Testament, your greatness on display, right. Even though you're that there's somebody right now in a dark place, is somebody right now still trying to figure it out? Um, what advice are you giving to that person who who lost hope? That person who, you know, despite of what they're hearing, is still sort of like doubtful. But they 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 want to do better because they're, they're they're watching the show, so they want to do better. But what what advice would you give to that person? Well, I tell a lot of people, <clears throat> fear is an enemy, mm. and you you have to rebuke fear and denounce fear. So even with my success, fear flares up wow. at times. Yeah. And I have to rebuke it and deny it. That's mm -hmm. one thing. Because if you allow fear to have dominion over you, you'll be sitting on the sofa watching this right now. And a year from now, you'll still be on the sofa wow. because you're scared to step out there on faith. That's yeah. number one. Yeah. Number two, don't share your dream and your vision with everybody. Oh, because you, because people will talk you out of your dream and your vision and they won't talk you out of it because they hate on you. Yeah. They'll talk you out of it because they are people that likes to work for other people and they can't see the vision of being an entrepreneur. Mm. So you have to watch the energy and the negative people that you have in your circle. Yeah. So anytime that you're around negative energy, you need to run and get away from that energy. And I'm gonna say it like Steve Harvey said, I always got to give him his props where he said it. He said, you can't tell a big dream to a small minded person. Mm, yeah. And he said that you, God gave you the dream. Mm. He didn't give them the dream. Yeah. He gave it to you. Yeah. So you got to take your dream and go for it and don't share it with everybody. Yeah, no, I love that. I love that. Tammy, talk talk to the to the women out there, right? Who may feel like this is a uh a industry only for men, um, that they can't possibly see themselves, you know, making millions of dollars or even six figures, right? Um, you know, talk to that that woman out there that that you know is wanting to get to in this industry. Yes, first of all, back to Sheldon's point, you can't share your vision, your dream to everybody. But I will say this, women are dominating in the trucking industry. If you don't believe me, just Google trucking on Instagram, on YouTube. Women are dominating. Women are now the biggest growing population in the trucking business. So for me, I come from corporate America. Never thought that I would be in the trucking world. When I realized how simple it was to get a cargo van, start delivering freight around Atlanta, making money and then scaling my business, it's rewarding. Now I have time for my grandchildren. I can pick them up from school. I have time with my children. The freedom that I have in the trucking business is like none other at all. And then not only that, I'm able to bless other people. Like I know that God's purpose for me on this planet is to be a blessing to others. So to help another single woman hold her hand like an infant and show her how to start this business and make money and have financial freedom as well as time freedom for your family, it, it can be done. So I just say, pray about it and execute. Doesn't matter how much information me and Sheldon give you on the stage, doesn't matter how much, doesn't matter how much information Ash give you on this show. If you don't execute, 
and believe you can do it, you're just an information olic, mm -hmm. like an alcoholic, but a person overloaded with information. You have to execute. Yeah. So yeah, that's what no, I, I love say. that. I love that. And so, what what what's what what has been the the biggest mistake um, that you've seen that you've probably made or you've seen you know other people in the trucking business you know do that um, stops them from from gaining success? Uh, number one is buying the wrong type of truck. Yeah. You got to do your research. You got to know what type of truck. There's certain trucks out there. There's problem childs. They known for breaking down and stuff like that. Uh, you got to learn how to do your routine maintenance on your trucks and your vehicles and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, the biggest mistake that people make, believe it or not, they like to rush. Mm. They don't have no patience. Mm. And when you don't have no patience, that's when you make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And we tell people, and I, I mentioned this earlier, you cannot buy a vehicle without getting it inspected. Mm. And that's probably one of the biggest mistakes people make by going out there and, and buying a, uh, a semi or a box truck or a cargo van without getting it inspected because you don't want to spend an extra three, four, five hundred dollars to make sure that that vehicle that you're buying is solid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It don't necessarily mean it won't break down, mm -hmm. but it does mean that you're not buying an eight thousand dollar problem mm -hmm. before you even get started. Mm -hmm. And I would just add that for me, some of the greatest mistakes that I've seen, just not only with our coaching clients, but personally and professionally, is that they don't have a coach. Mm. Like they think they can do this thing by themselves. They jump out there, yeah. buy the wrong vehicle, listen to the wrong people on social media, listen to the wrong videos on YouTube yeah. or whatever, and they end up failing. And then they have like this, you know, eyesore for the trucking business. It's only because you did not take the time to invest in somebody that could help you be successful. Yeah. So that's been a very major mistake yeah. that I've seen a lot of people make, just no. not having the right people to help them. No, I love that. Um, can anybody do this? Like, let's say, for instance, you know, a lot of people who watch our show, um, you know, currently uh, have a lot of responsibilities, whether, uh, you know, they work a nine to five or they might, um, you know, you know, be in school or whatever, like, like what, what's the time commitment? Can, can somebody who has a full-time job or other responsibilities get into this business and become successful? Absolutely. Absolutely. We, we coaching four nurses that fighting COVID. Wow. They ain't never been in a truck. Wow. They got drivers in their truck. They're making passive income anywhere from a thousand to 2000 a week. We got uh, coaching clients that's been working for general motors for 25 years. Wow. They took a leave of absent jumped in the truck for 30 days, figured out how to do it, learned the paperwork, went back to General Motors, put a driver in the truck. They making a thousand to two thousand dollars a month. Uh, I mean, uh, a week. So it's uh, it does. It doesn't take um, a lot. Um, I kind of lost my thought, but um, but yeah, you, you, you can you can do it. You can make a passive income. Now, I will say that. A lot of people think when you get in this business, you're gonna fall in love with the money. Mm. But you're not gonna fall in love with the money. Mm. You're gonna fall in love with the freedom. Mm. The freedom that it brings. Yeah. Because you are an independent contractor. Yeah. So when you haul in freight, you can haul freight Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday and take Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. Mm. You can haul freight Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and then take Saturday, Sunday off. Mm. You can haul freight Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and take four days off. Mm. So. We're going to position you to print money to buy freedom. Mm. That's how we're going to we're going to position you yeah. to print money, earn money mm -hmm. so you can buy freedom. Spend more quality time with your wife, yeah. spend more quality time with your kids and your grandkids. Yeah. We got a coaching client right now. His son is playing baseball. Mm -hmm. He all he does is Amazon. And then when it's time for his son to got, have a game, he'll hop on a plane and go see his son play the baseball game in college and come on back and go back to work. Wow. Wow, that's powerful. Yeah. That's powerful. And then I also think about that that other sector people that we have in our program. It's just a straight entrepreneur. Some people just want a pass, a, like passive income. Yeah. You know, they may be in real estate. They just be, they may they may they may be a bona fide entrepreneur. Yeah. And they're looking for passive income. Well, they get them a box truck or a cargo van, put a driver in there. That's income coming in regardless, and you're not even driving. Yeah. So yeah. So not only the single mom, not only that knucklehead kid, not only somebody with background issues, also just a driven entrepreneur. Yeah. And we have quite a few people coming into our program 
from that uh, sector as well. Yeah, I love that, especially for the new entrepreneur, mm -hmm. right? Because when you think about that new entrepreneur who's still trying to figure it out, who, who wants that level of stability, they might have quit their job already and they want that level of stability, going back to get a job doesn't make sense. So like you said, as an independent contractor, take you know this, this information that you have, use that information, uh, make some passive income for, from it so you could clear your mind, right? Yep. Because if you if you're trying to start a business, it, it ain't going to be easy. So why not create, you know, you know, a, a business that somebody has already given you the blueprint to so you could create that passive income. So whatever that passion is, you could kind of, you know, be in that, you know, be in that space right. and that passion. Um, what would you say, you know, ultimately when it's all said and done? Um, you know, you know, what, what, what does the, you know, you know, the Moors, um, you know, what, what's the bigger picture? Is there a bigger picture? What, what, you know, what's, what's the, what's the, what's the grander vision for, for Sheldon and Tammy Moore? Shoot. Sit back and yeah. just turn truckerpreneur into an asset, yeah. <laughs> a yeah. sellable, scalable asset. Yeah. Yeah. I think with me being 54 and Sheldon being 61, I'm not trying to be doing no reels at 70, yeah. you know, <laughs> join the challenge and I got a cane, you know, <laughs> <laughs> without, I mean, it could happen, you yeah, know, I'm just yeah, saying, but that's yeah. not what my vision, my vision is to continue to transform lives over the next three or four years, yeah. find multiple streams of income. We're looking at investment opportunities. Yeah. We're looking at truck parking. We tapped into real estate already. Yeah. We're looking at some restaurant opportunities. So yeah. we're trying to find investments. So if you have one, reach out to us because we're open. <laughs> they got some money, y'all. <laughs> they make, they make so, millions of dollars, y'all. Tap in. And yeah. also we're trying to we, we in uh, we're trying to get our program into uh, the local college. That's right. Yeah. You yeah, know, because yeah, I'm a huge. I'm a graduate. I, I went to um, Metropolitan mm -hmm. right off of uh, um, right off of Metropolitan, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Atlanta so Tech. Atlanta yeah. Tech, right <laughs> off of Metropolitan. And uh, we're trying to we're talking to the president right now, trying to get our coaching program wow, or our trucking program into the into yeah. the college. And yeah. hopefully some of the um, penal institutions as well. Yeah. As well. Yeah, that's yeah. huge. How, how, how important is that? Because like, I, like you know, I, I saw you. We, you know, we were in uh, Fulton County uh, talking to the inmates. You do a lot of a lot of that work. Um, how important it, it, is that for you uh, to actually go into the to the system and you know talk to you know the inmates? That's huge for me. Yeah. Because I, I remember laying on my prison steel bunk. When God told me I want you to be a minister of mine, mm. and uh, I was like, "No, nah, you can't be." I ain't, I ain't hit that right. Yeah. I ain't hit that right. But to make a long story short, he he downloaded that in me, and I never, I never forgot what he said. That's why I'm so transparent about my background. He said, "If you're gonna work for me, never be a slave to what people think about you." Mm. So yeah. I had to, you know, I had to, I had to overcome that fear of talking about ten felonies and mm. I've been to prison and all of that. But he said. Never be a slave to what people think about you. If you just go out there and do what I ask you to do, I got you. Wow. So yeah, that's big for me. That's wow. big for me. Uh, talking to the Boys Academy, going into Rockdale uh, County Jail, Fulton County Jail. That's yeah. big for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love that. Um, any like last words of wisdom that you want to impart to people? I, I definitely want y'all to make sure y'all join this four day challenge. Uh, go to InsideBoxTrucks.com. Uh, you spend four days with the Moors. Like spending that four days is definitely going to give you everything that you need. Uh, but but after you spend that four days, if you are inclined to take that opportunity, join their program, you know, get a, a head start on creating uh, passive income. Any any last words for the folks? Last words is look. Me and my wife have been placed on this earth together to motivate, encourage people to be great, and. What we tell people on our free Q&A call, because we do a free Q&A call every Monday, even if you don't choose transportation, yeah. if you want to be on your own beauty salon, you want to own your own restaurant, just go for it. Yeah. Just go for it. It ain't got to be with us. It ain't got to be with transportation. You know, and we living in a time today where going to school to get a four year degree, that's a little bit obsolete right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The information is people on social media that got the power, that got the information. Invest in yourself, man. Stop playing around. Uh, denounce fear, rebuke fear, and 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 find your coach and take your your opportunities to the next level. Love that. Love that. Yes, Love that. I'll I'll just add that, um, and I'm just piggybacking off of what we've already talked about. Is uh, again. <laughs> 
you can't share your dreams and your visions with small-minded people, period. My question is, if you're not where you want to be in life, who are you listening to mm. and what are you doing with your time? Mm. If you can identify what those issues are, I pray that you identify your purpose and then you just execute. All right, y'all, another powerful episode of Inside the Vault with Ash Cash. We have Sheldon and Tammy Moore. Just gave you a whole lot of game. Uh, I learned a lot, so I know you learned a lot on how to get into the trucking business without having to have a CDL, without having to take expensive courses and go to school and spend all this money. An easy way to get into it. And you can make six figures, millions of dollars if you're really serious. Uh, so I appreciate you. Thank you so much for everything that Absolutely. you do. Absolutely. Um, if Thank people you. wanted to connect with you, you know, where can they find you? Uh, you can find us on Instagram. You can find us on Sheldon underscore box truck coach. And you can find us on our website, uh, www.boxtruckcoach.com. And we do a free Q&A call every Monday uh, uh, at uh, 6.30 uh, p.m. Eastern time. And all you got to do is go to our Instagram page, hit the bio link. And it'll show you all of our testimonials. It'll show you all the uh, podcasts, the TV programs we've been on. It'll give you a history of who we are and what we've done. All right, y'all. Another powerful episode. We are closing out the vault, inside the vault with Ash Cash. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at Inside the Vault. Visit our website, InsideTheVaultShow.com. Me, I am Ash Cash. Make sure you visit me, IamAshCash.com. Follow me on all social media platforms at I am Ash Cash. We're closing out the vault, y'all. I'll see y'all next time, same time, same place, in God's will. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace.